So one of the cool things about black and white is it's a dual concept kitchen. And so they, they share a centralized kitchen, a centralized grill. We have a 140 label wine cellar and a full mixology bar. But when you step through that door, you have two options in which you can pretty much go with. So to start, you have your white label, that's gonna be your casual dine, tapas style seafood, which makes up about 60% of the menu is appetizers. Now, one of the cool things about these appetizers is large proportions, and it all comes out at the same time. So if you wanna eat by yourself, or if you wanna share with friends, it, it's the mix and match, it's the, the exchange of plates that really brings the interestingness to the, the menu. Now, on the other side of the restaurant, you have your fine dining, and that's going to be your Mediterranean. So you're going to be having everything from French, Italian, and Spanish. And, and with that, you're going to get some really cool concepts like duck magrettes or the Capressi salad or salmon croquettes. And all in all, it's going to pair well because the servers are there to wait on you hand and foot with candlelight and tablecloth linens. All our seafood is brought in fresh. Um, we work with Louisiana Seafood. I don't do anything blood in. Um, they actually butcher it and doctor it and send it to us. Your tuna is triple grade A sushi, uh, bluefin tuna. And so um, it's, it's, I mean, it's quality. It's the best of the best that I can buy. It's Maggie Noel here with Your City, Your Style. And we are at the brand new Black and White in the Heights, Houston, Texas. And here with me, we have Executive Chef Justin Wilson. And to get started, I just want to know a little bit about what you bring to Black and White and how you make your mark here at this wonderful restaurant. Well, we uh, got inspired by going to a chef visit in Mexico. And we started playing around with dishes. And I ran in in contact with Don, who has a couple of Mexican the owner, who has a couple of restaurants in Mexico. And we started putting together a menu from there. And slowly testing things out. Everything is the authentic Mexican, not Tex Mex, so to speak. So you have deeper, richer flavors, not as always spicy and fire. Uh, we can't make it that way, but we try to stay here. And then on the black side, we have Italian, which is a lot, a lot of Italian. French from culinary school, as well as Mediterranean, which is more of a cozier atmosphere and more fine dining. With our produce, we pull everything from Hardee's, which tops, probably works in the top 1% as well, as, as they mark every single leaf of everything with a, a cereal code to uh, ensure the quality is always there. And the biggest thing for us is we hope that translates more or less to the plate and the table more than anything else. So the, the inspiration for the drinks really stemmed from the, the palette of flavor in the kitchen. Uh, we're looking at a heavy seafood line, a lot of white meats, um, with that being said, we, we really focused on light floral openings, mid to strong mid palettes, and clean finishes. And so with that being said, it birthed a whole new kind of genre of style of drinks. So when we first approached the idea, we went ahead and went, given the nature of the, the area, classic cocktails. But we didn't want to just be the every cocktail, cocktail that everyone has. And so we took the, the the most renowned or known cocktails and put an amazing twist in them. Some of the dishes that we've tried tonight were just wonderful and I kind of want to know, you know, Houston's a city that's really known for the fine dining and restaurants. Uh, for somebody who's visiting Houston, if you can explain or, or describe your, your style of dish or your style of cooking that really just separates yourself from the rest, how would you describe it? Uh, no matter what it is, it's almost like considered comfortable. Because I cook from experience. I wish you could taste something and you do something your mom now. Now it's never going to be as good as mom's. Right. It's never going to be. I can't do any stuff with you. But uh, it, it's, a, it's an experience. Once it's from our having a hard day, we work to beat you up, we just come in, relax, have a glass of wine, and if you get about every day, for an hour and a half to two hours, we have to go back to the other. It's, it's a journey. Chef, you know, we thank you again for having us out at this wonderful restaurant. Again, your city, your style, black and white, the Heights, Houston. If you're ever visiting, you have to stop by and check it out. This is a wonderful atmosphere, a wonderful restaurant. It's an experience that you will never forget.